Well, howdy. It's me, Elmer. I hope that you remember me. I, I was with you at the beginning of the year. Hello, it's Mrs. Myers. I'm here with just some of the elephants in my house. I wish I could tell you I didn't have more, but I do. So here's just some of them. In honor of us reading Elmer. We did read Elmer at the beginning of the year. It's one of my very, very favorites. It has a really important life lesson. And I'm also going to have you do a craft, if you choose, that goes along with Elmer. That is so fun. So let's read Elmer together. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall and short, fat and thin, all were different, but all were happy, and almost all were the same color. All except Elmer. Elmer was not elephant color. He was patchwork. Elmer was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. It was Elmer who kept the other elephants happy. Their games and jokes were always his idea. If an elephant was laughing, the cause was usually Elmer. Sounds like a fun elephant. But Elmer himself wasn't happy. Whoever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. One morning, just as the others were waking up, Elmer slipped I wonder where he's going. As he walked through the jungle, Elmer met other animals. Good morning, Elmer, they said. They all know him. After a long walk, Elmer found what he was looking for, a large bush covered with elephant-colored berries. Elmer caught hold of the bush and shook it until the berries fell on the ground. Now, if you've heard this story before, and hopefully you remember what he's going to do. Then Elmer laid down and rolled over on the berries, this way and that way. He picked up the berries and rubbed himself all over until he was covered with berry juice. When he had finished, there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. Elmer looked like any other elephant. He was no longer unique. Remember, unique means one of a kind. On his way back to the, through the jungle, Elmer passed the other animals. Good morning, elephant, they said. Oh, he looks just like every other elephant, so they didn't know who he was. When Elmer rejoined the herd, none of the other elephants noticed him. He's blending in. It's like he's camouflaging in with all the other elephants. As he stood there, Elmer felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around. Same old jungle, same old blue sky, same old rain cloud, same old elephants. What is different? If you know, tell me to your screen. The other elephants were standing absolutely still, silent and serious. Elmer had never seen them so serious before. It made him want to laugh. Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! Did I scare you? The other elephants jumped in surprise. Elmer was helpless with laughter. Then the others began to laugh. Too bad Elmer isn't here to share the fun, they said, laughing harder and harder. They don't even realize it's him. And then the rain cloud burst. When the rain fell on Elmer, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Elmer, gasped an old elephant as Elmer was washed back to normal. You've played some good jokes but this has been the biggest laugh of all. What would we do without you? We must celebrate this day every year, said another. The day of Elmer's best joke. 
All of us elephants will decorate ourselves in his honor, said a third, and Elmer will decorate himself elephant color. And one day each year, the elephants color themselves yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white and have a parade. If you happen to see an elephant in the Elmer's Day Parade who is ordinary elephant color, you will know it must be Elmer. So I want to remind you what the central message or what is the author trying to teach you through the story Elmer. So remember, Elef uh, uh, ooh, Elmer was patchwork. He was not normal elephant color. And he was like, you know what? Why am I so different than everyone else? So he tried to blend in. He tried to look like every other elephant. But at the end, he realized that he was perfect just the way he was. So my encouragement to you, the life lesson, the moral of the story, the central message is to be yourself. Elmer was unique. He was one of a kind. He was amazing. His gift was making other people laugh. But what is your gift? I want you to think about that. And I want you to send me what your gift is. Send it in a message. Send it in a text. Comment it on the YouTube channel below. Tell me what is your gift. What's something you're really, really good at? That's what makes you unique. That's what makes you one of a kind. So I want you to remember to be yourself because that is perfect just the way that you are. And I have a special craft that we are going to do together if you choose, which I hope you take the challenge. Out of, drum roll please, a milk jug. And you're probably wondering, Mrs. Myers, what are we going to do with a milk jug? Well, you'll have to stay tuned to find out. Next video, you'll see how I turn this milk jug into oh, an elephant. See you soon. Bye.